Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Pause up top. It's great to see you, fam. Welcome to the Phoenix Cloud. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood Leo uh, and tarot oracle reader. All right, it's great to see you. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Um, thank you for being here, Leos. Thank you so much for your love and support. Trust me when I say you guys are keeping me going. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will never stop loving you. And it's never going to stop. All right. So this is your general love reading for the week. We're going to take a look at your energy, your person's energy. So please take what resonates. Feel free to flip the sads, reverse the roles, all the things. Okay. You know, if I'm talking about your energy and it, I might have put it on your person's side. Okay. I, I don't know. Only you know that. So please take the parts that resonate for you. Leave the stuff that doesn't. Nothing resonates in your sun sign, Leo. Check your moon rising and your Venus. And if those don't resonate, then feel free to check out my older readings. Um, don't forget to definitely subscribe so you guys can come back and get notified when I'm uploading my videos or when I'm going live. Okay. Um, and definitely don't forget to like the video for me if it does resonate for you. All right, Leos. I do have a Leo only channel. I always forget to say it. It's called the Mystic Leo uh, Intuitive no, the Mystic Leo Guided Messages. Sorry, I'm starting to confuse my two channels. But uh, that is going to be linked down below for those of you who want to go over there and check out all the Leo only readings. Okay, so let's get busy. All right, let's get busy here. What's the overall energy between Leo and the person they are connecting with romantically, please? No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Ah! All right, so... Leo. Leo, are you guys in love or are you like feeling somebody right now? Because I have the Queen of Cups and the Four of Swords and the, the, the Four of Swords is like, you might be up at night thinking about somebody, okay? Either you're having a difficult time releasing somebody that you are with, or you're thinking about somebody really heavily here in your current energy queen of cups. Because she, for me, is like, tends to be kind of, you know, loving and feeling those vibes, okay? So I feel like some of you um, could be in a healing stage as well. You're trying to still let go of uh, something from the past. But I'm also picking up that some of you are having sleepless nights because your mind is stirring from another person or maybe you're doing things with another person, okay? Let's see Leo's energy. What are they thinking and feeling about this current person they're dealing with, okay? Current person that Leo's dealing with. Okay, we got an extra card. Um, definitely there are, there's some sort of connection happening here. Ace of Wands, big wood, big wood card. All right. However, I feel like you're not putting your full attention to this. Okay. And one of the reasons why you're in some of these connections right now or this connection right now is because you may be craving some attention here with the Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? So you could be connecting with people. You're not exactly 100% into that person. I, I'm not going to lie to you, Leo. You know what I'm saying? I think some of y'all doing rebound shit out here in these streets, okay? And... I'm not going to be mad at you for it. You know, everybody's got to process their things the way they process it. But I'm kind of getting this vibe like you're connecting with somebody or people or whatever. They're, it's not really a fulfilling relationship. You might be thinking about it. You might have love on your mind. But I think part of what's happening here is that some of you may be in like a healing process from something you got hurt over. Okay. And it hurt like your, your pride. It hurt your divine masculine, your divine feminine energy. Um, you could be really just trying to get back to kind of your own self, feeling like yourself again, okay? So I'm kind of getting a little bit of a rebound vibe. You might just be hooking up with somebody here, okay? For the sake of like hooking up and not, and feeling better in a sense, all right? What is this person thinking and feeling? Yeah, you, you, you came out of a lot of something here with that nine of wands, okay? So the person you're connecting with really likes you. 
Okay, they think about you very often with the Six of Cups. It could be somebody from your past, somebody you've already known. It could be a reconnection you're having with somebody. Um, you know, and this person, Six of Wands, they really like you. They recognize what's really great and what's powerful and beautiful about you, Leo. What else does this person think and feel about Leo? What are they thinking? Yeah, Three of Cups. You may have reunited with this person. They like you. They want to have fun with you. Um, they want to just... They want to come together with you, okay? I think that this person might have slightly more feelings than you have since they have some cups, okay? So um, they like the connection that they have with you. And I feel like... Some of them may want a little bit more than they're leading on, okay? But I don't know about you, Leo. You don't look like that to me, okay? What's the challenge in this connection? Can I have one card for the challenge, please? Ten of Wands. Yeah, so a lot of baggage. Uh, needing to finally just get rid of energies, uh, responsibilities may be the challenge. So um, with the Ten of Wands, there may be a lot of responsibilities between the two of you. So it's hard to kind of connect regularly with this person so that maybe you can kind of form a better bond with them. Leo, I get the sense that like I'm feeling some type of like, I'm feeling some type of way, uh, some type of way. It's like wanting it, but I don't know if it's fear or if it's like you feel like you've got to clear up some energy, okay? But I'm getting that maybe both of you are very busy and you don't really have that much time to like hang out with each other. Okay, this person's thinking about you way more than you're thinking about them. You're thinking a little more about things that happened here with these three cups in the past. And there's an opportunity here. You see that? Okay, and if you're not paying attention, there is the potential for love that's around you. And if you're not paying attention and you're focused on some bullshit, you're going to miss it. Okay, that's what I'm here for. All right. Tell me about um, your next moves in this connection. What does Leo want from this connection? What does Leo want from this connection, please? With this person, what does Leo want from this connection? What does Leo want from this connection? Leo, you do want some sort of commitment here, okay? You you want to feel nurtured, taken care of. Um, you really want to, like, um, just enjoy, you know? I think feel just grounded, like something normal, okay? I'm getting, like, normal. Um, you are just kind of waiting. I think you're trying to let go of any sort of expectation here. Pisces energy could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, and I think you're recovering. You really just want to experience new energies here. You're trying to let go of all the hurts and the pains and the things and, and not carry this into the next connection. Okay. So I think Really what you want is that you have some wounding and you want to release that wounding. You do want to connect with somebody, but I don't think you're ready fully to be in a, a, a commitment. It's going to take you a little time because you want to be able to fully trust somebody, okay? Let's see what this person you're connecting with. What do they want from Leo, please? Show me what this person wants from the connection with Leo. Their honest feelings, okay? Show me their honest feelings. What do they want from Leo? Told you. They want more. Okay. Um, and this person might want to take things to another level, but they have a five of cups here. So what I feel is that this person they have their own fears. They don't want to regret giving giving their heart to you because I think this person is aware with the judgment card that you've been going through something or you've been hurt, okay? So this person, it's like they do want something here. They may not be expressing that to you, but they also have this thing of like, I don't want to regret fully giving to Leo and Leo's not ready for this. I don't want to make a wrong move. Okay, they don't want to make a wrong move with you, Leo. Okay, so I think they might be just slightly guarded, right? King of Cups, they're showing you. Um, they care about you. Uh, they're showing up for you. I think they think about you a little more than they're letting on. Um, that kind of stuff, okay? Okay. 
Let's see um, this person's next moves towards Leo. What's this person's next moves? What are they What are they going to do next? We know what they want. What are they going to do about it? Give me two cards. They're going to make an offer to you, okay? Ace of Pentacles. But first, I get the vibe that this person's going to show you that they can be trusted. What else are they going to do, please? Their next moves. Ten of Pentacles. Like I said... They're going to show you Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You could be dealing with an earth sign here. Um, this person, they have something to offer you, okay? It's not just emotion. They have their emotions in check with the King of Cups, but they're going to show you in tangible ways that they care about you, that you can trust them, that kind of stuff. So I feel like this person will make an offer to you. They'll maybe talk about a next step with you. They might bring something up in conversation. They might passively say something about being in a solid relationship. The thing is, Leo, are you off your shit? Like, are you done? You know what I mean? Are you over whatever happened to you? I feel like we, we have discussed something similar to this, but you definitely have somebody in your energy, could be a past person that you've reconnected with recently, and this person's really seeing something with you, okay? Let's talk about this Queen of Cups and the Four of Swords as overall energy. Let's clarify that, please. Yeah, you're fighting your feelings. Five of Wands with the Queen of Cups. Shit. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. You really do. You you may still be recovering from something. You really do want a relationship. I think many of you are fighting with whether or not you feel ready for that relationship. Okay. Why does Leo have the Four of Cups, Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands as their feelings? You're trying to, you're trying to dick zone this person or something. <laughs> Somebody just trying to be friends with benefits. Leo, why are you playing yourself? Okay, you know you feel more than that. Yeah. Okay, you're just trying to be smart. That's all. You're just trying to do what you think is best for yourself. Ace of Swords. Okay, you're, you're just more clear after having dealt with something that put you through changes, right? By the Queen of Wands in reverse. King of Cups. Because deep down, okay... You, you may feel like, why does this person want me? You know, why do they want me? What are they looking at me for? But deep down, you care about this person. You have feelings for them. You both are showing up at the king, as the king of cups. You're both mature. You both have this way of like, there is, there is a connection here. Okay. I just feel like you're sometimes not that confident. You're trying to make this a friendly connection and not get your heart so deeply involved because it'll hurt less if for some reason the bottom drops out if the other shoe drops okay why the ace of wands we know why the ace of wands <laughs> all right hmm why the ace of wands This is a this is a, a a decision that you made. Yeah. So you know you. I think you're trying to, like I said before, abandon this idea of having to have the relationship up front. Trying to go with the flow a little bit more. You're also gaining control of your life here, okay? And um, you may have been in a connection before where somebody made you feel sort of abandoned. And I think you abandoned a connection uh, where also somebody was trying to control you. So you're very much trying to hold your own ground right here. You, you made a very sort of... Um, big decision with your life and I feel like you're just trying to really stand your ground and your boundaries at this point and have things go more the way you want it to because I feel that somebody else was trying to push push an agenda on you prior to this okay let's see why they have the six of wands as their feelings why the six of wands oh my god the two of cups get the freak out of here okay this person definitely feels some sort of deep connection with you. Um, whatever you're thinking and feeling is probably mutual to some degree when it comes to like how you really feel about this person. This person feels a deep connection with you and they feel like a connection with you would be very successful. You know, you guys, you, you see eye to eye on a lot of things. You have a lot of mutual, the same type of energy. You're both very successful people here too, okay? And they like that about you. You both might be in the public eye as well. Six of Cups, why is that here, please? 
Pisces. Why do they feel six of cups for Leo? The hangman, their mind is made up. Um, it's, it's almost like an instant, um, sort of attraction in this time. They think about you very often. Um, and they like that you see things from a, a different perspective. You make them, you make them ex like, they like that you're different. You make them explore things in their mind more. You, you are interesting to them. Okay. So they think about how different you are very often. Okay, Pisces energy, why the Three of Cups, Page of Cups. They definitely want to make some sort of love offer. They could be a little bit infatuated with how cute you are, or the things that you do. They like your personality. Okay, they like how friendly and outgoing you might be, stuff like that. Okay, Ten of Wands, why is that the challenge? The world, yeah, because there's a lot of change needed. Remember I said, you know, um, there's that... There's that energy of there still being this lingering thing. There's a lot of responsibility when it comes to relationships. And the challenge is, you know, uh, really, truly deciding for that change and communicating, right? Communicating with this person, telling them what you need, telling them what you want. You may feel like you can't do that at times because maybe you'll run this person off, okay? We have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, so you could be dealing with one of those energies there. Some of you, the challenge is really closing out that cycle of like that heaviness you feel or it's this person, okay? Okay, so you want the hangman. Sorry, guys. I feel like I have a cat hair like right in my face. So um, what you really want... The hangman. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Yeah. I, I think you want to be your best self. I think you want to be stronger here. I think you're really doing things in your life. You're looking toward long term. So nothing that you involve yourself in if it doesn't look like long term for some of you leo i think you're just backing away from it okay so i think you're just you could be dealing with an aries here you could be getting over an aries too um i think you're trying to some of you are really trying to refocus yourself let go of any hurts from the past and really get back to like your stronger self the the self that's more um in charge you know you're you're calling back a lot of your energy here okay and and i think that you know uh you're working a lot with the eight of pentacles you're really trying to master something about yourself and or about relationships here leo um and as i said before you do want the connection what you want is you want something that really works you want somebody who's going to put the work in what you want is somebody who is going to be that person that you need them to be that you really want them to be without having to make them that or ask them to be that so with that said as i said looking for the right person to settle down with as opposed to falling for somebody and then you find out this is nowhere near what you're looking for and then that being a fucking shit show right all right, what this person wants, five of cups, why? Why the five of cups? Okay, so this person is ready for something new. However, This person might feel that you don't pay attention to them a lot or you withdraw or you disengage. It's they do want something new in their lives. I think that they also may have some, you know, prolonged period of feeling lonely, um, feeling that emptiness. They don't want to regret putting forth the effort for you, but I also feel like they don't want to miss the opportunity either, okay? They know this is a little bit risky. This person... <sighs> 
this person has feelings for you, but as I said, with the Six of Wands in reverse, it's showing me that they're not trying to show you how much they want to be with you or that they care about you. I don't know why. You know, I'm starting to feel like this person got really hurt in their past. It's either they're trying to prove something to you or this person feels like they have something to lose too, okay? They're, they're not... It's like they're sure about what they think and feel about you. And at the same time, this is so weird. It's almost like unsure of how this is going to go. So they're being cautious. Okay, why judgment? Four of Pentacles. This person definitely is trying to heal. Um, hold on to you, not heal. Four of Pentacles. Okay. They do. They're... They're a little bit scared, but they definitely want this. They're holding on to you because they know what they have in being with you. They know what you're capable of uh, capable of, uh, as far as opening up and loving them. I feel almost like this person is kind of waiting to see where this goes. They're, they're patiently putting some sort of effort and time into this, and they know that you're a little bit guarded, okay? So, um... Okay, their next steps, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Yep, the Empress. Okie dokie. I like it. Okay. Their next steps, they're going to assure you that there is no doubt of the way they feel about you. This person wants to take care of you. Okay, they do want to nurture this relationship. They want to see where it's going. We have the emperor out. We have the empress out. This person does want a higher level of commitment with you. Okay, and I think that pretty soon they're going to let you know because I think they're getting really super clear here where they were foggy before. They're going to show it to you. Okay, they're going to they're going to do whatever they can to begin to show you that they really really want to be with you. Okay. And what's, just give me Leo's energy about that. When this person shows up that way, what's Leo going to do? What is Leo going to do? Leo, I think you're going to forego any other relationships here. Um, and I think you're going to give this a chance. Okay. I think you're going to give it a chance with hesitation. That's what I'm going to say. I think you're going to see the value in this. It may not be 100% like you know, let's say that all, all the stuff is there, but this person's overweight. Uh, but, you know, there's something, there's something that you don't quite like, right? There's something there, but this isn't necessarily a deal breaker for you. I think you guys are in the state of trying to figure out whether or not certain things about this connection are deal breakers for you or not, okay? Because uh, I just got relearning healthy patterns. So some of you could be relearning boundaries, healthy patterns, and relationships, what that looks like. You could have had a relationship in the past that really just sort of messed you up, okay? Yeah, you could have some insecurities here. Okay. This person could be an answer to your prayers. You could run in the same circle. There's gossip showing up here. I just wanted to get a couple of these cards. But Leo, I, I feel like you're really middle of the road. You're really just trying not to like be like, here's all my feelings. Um, cause you're a little, you could feel a little bit insecure. Like if I totally open up, I might run this person off. Okay. Um, this person could be talking about you to other people and maybe you don't know about that. All right. Let's see. Let me get one or two more cards here and then we're going to wrap it up. If you made it this far, Leo, thank you so much for being here. This is just one of those rare days. I'm not acting up like I normally am kind of grounded today. Didn't have too much coffee. Love yourself first. Yes, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That could be what you're actually doing here. You're putting yourself first instead of putting this connection first. And that may be what's kind of putting this person off. It's like they want to be with you. They want to make an offer to you. And they don't know if it's them 
Okay, you may be making them feel a little bit insecure. They don't know if it's them or if it's you just setting healthy boundaries like I just talked about that kind of side message I got. But I think you're putting yourself first. So that makes this person like, what is Leo doing? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I'm telling you, there is the potential for whatever connection you're dealing with right now, Leo, where that's coming into your life very soon here, there's the potential for this to go everywhere, all right? There's potentially engagement, marriage, higher levels of commitment, and I like this for you because, you know, Leo's babies, you deserve it. You deserve it, baby. You're beautiful. All right, what else do we have here for Leo? What else? Give me two cards. There we go. Heartbroken. Yeah, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So some of you may still be trying to work through some of that energy here. And if it's not you, it could be your person. We have the axe, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Okay, so again, Leo, I'm getting the message about... Actually, this feels like the person that you split up with kind of cropping up here in the energy. And I feel like you don't really want anything to end this time. What I'm getting is the next one has to be the last one. That's like the intuitive message I get. The next one needs to be the last one. I'm not going through this again. This Whatever this other relationship was before this connection here, which is really beautiful, by the way, um, this really did something to some of you. Okay, Leo, and you really made up your mind like the next one is the last one. So you're being picky choosy about who it is that you're letting into your energy. Okay, and this person knows that. All right. They know that. But I think they're still trying to figure it out a little bit. Okay, so this is what I have for you, my loves. I love you so, so much, Leos. Paul's up top. Just just come on, bring the loving. You bring it in for a hug. Just let mama hug you and give you a hug. I love you guys so much. Thank you uh, for being here. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Say hi to me today. It is, what's today? Tuesday. I've had off for like two, three days. I don't even know what day it is. Anyway, say hi to your mama. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, Leo.